Hi folks, Mrs McGillivray here, morning. Um, so I've been trying to encourage you guys to do a drawing a day. Uh, lots of different ways, but basically doing a drawing a day. So this is, I was just trying to think what sort of stuff you have in your house that most people might have in their house. Not necessarily paints or stuff like that. So, and my kids know that I almost always like drawing these because I always have one. So, so I still have one at home just now. Um, yeah. So um, I've tried to set this up so you can see this. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll give it a bash. I have a little bit of water. I have a squished up grape. I have, this is, um, someone's made a cup of tea, me. And I have put a wee bit of extra water, four tea bags. Doesn't matter how many tea bags. Um, I've added some coffee to it. So tea and coffee. Every artist has to drink tea, we all know this. Um, not too much water, it's just a wash, it's giving you a wash. I've not tried this yet, this is soya sauce. I've tried it in my cooking, but I haven't tried it for painting. Um, this is ketchup, red sauce, brown sauce. And I've got a rubbish bit of paper here. Uh, and I've already tested it out to see if it'll take. And it's just, it's an old cheese wrapper to mix the paint on. And I have... This is an eyebrow pencil. Now, in my house, you're more likely to have paintbrushes than eyebrow pencils, but <clears throat> not everyone has paintbrushes at home. I've also got this. This is for putting butter on the meat in the oven. So I haven't used that yet for art. And I've got a pen, pen, pencil, a couple of pencils, and scrap paper, pretty much. So, I mean, like... Uh, this is an old book that I was damaged, really badly damaged. So I just cut off the pages that weren't damaged and I'll print or paint on them or just draw on them. So uh, it doesn't matter what you're drawing, it really doesn't. This is just about, oh, does any of this stuff work? I haven't tried them out yet, so uh, I'll, let's just do it. So I'm going to stick, I'm going to go a pen just now, but you can use whatever you want. I'm reaching across the iPad, so I'm, I hope I'm not... You know, I hope you can see this. So very, very roughly, you're just gonna, you know, I, I, you know, you guys know I scribble all the time. Bit of shadow there, a uh, wee bit of detail. I'm looking at it from up here. Um, we scribble, scribble, scribble. Doesn't matter how you're doing this. Whether it's a scribble drawing, you can do it slowly. It's completely up to you. There's uh, people are fed up with me saying this. There's no right or wrong here. Uh, use a pencil if you want. Look. Get in there with a pencil. It really, really does not matter. It's up, it's completely up to you. No one can really tell you what's going on here. Anyway, there is roughly a Satsuma. Very rough. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can or not. If I push it forward a wee bit. Okay, so this is the important bit. What is going to work? So I'm going to start with the grapes because it's a bit, I'm hoping there's a slightly purple red tinge. So I'm just going to add a bit of water and maybe that's not a good idea. And just put that into the... So what is happening is the pencil is getting mixed up, which is quite nice. And yes, yeah, so there's no, you can see there's not a huge amount happening there. But it's okay. It's all right. So that is kind of going to get back right now. Um, I'm going to try soya. No, tea. The tea, tea and coffee next. You could actually, I would use your finger for this, actually, yeah, I would. See, that's okay. You're getting a wee sepia colour there. I quite like that. Do you know? Don't mind that at all. So, straight away, the light is very bad, I'm really sorry. You're getting a wee bit of colour there. That's okay. You could maybe use a tea bag. You know, yeah, you could actually. Just even that, you could just leave it like that. That looks alright to me. Maybe squidge it around your finger. Make the background. Keep it rough. I like rough. Keeping things rough and that. Same sort of style. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just want to keep going now with this tea bag. There we are. Get them shadows in there. Okay, right, I wonder what the soy sauce is. Listen, be careful with the soy sauce. Maybe do this with an adult, the soy sauce. But if you're younger, 
because I think soya sauce tends to stain. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the old eyebrow pencil again coming in here. So let's see what happens. This could be overloaded. Right? It's very similar. It's extremely similar I would, as the tea. I would, personally, I, I wouldn't bother with that. I would stick to the tea in the future. Right. Ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup. Bit of water maybe. Want a bit of red in there. Let's put it, let's see, it's not it's not even that strong, but it's okay. Use your getting stuck in your hands. There's colour, brown stuff. Again, not much you know what? There's not much different again to tea and coffee. Do you have anything with it? Yeah. I've got this to use, this thing. So I could put that in there and just, yeah. Not most successful. Nice texture. Not bad for texture. It's all right. Yeah, I'd use that again. Um, and that's kind of it, I think. I'm trying to show you a bit better on my table. Maybe a bit more shadow in there, eh? Because I'm always on what you guys were doing shadow. So it's wet on here. So this is a 4B pencil. I've got a 2B. The higher the number in front of the B means it's softer. So you will get a look, look at that. You'll get a lot of um, spreading of the kind of carbon coming out there of the pencil. Whereas if you put, if you do the ones you use in school for writing, it won't really work that well. But again, this is a 2B. Two, two 2B. Two so it won't be as soft. No, nowhere near. So this, this is, look at that. Nice, look how dark that will go. That is really nice. Lovely darkness. You know, you could get that right in the background there. And, and water. Water will work really well with, you know, B pencils. So, you know, you could just play around with this. This is what this is, is. Just play around with stuff. See what mark, it's all about mark making. See, I could just, uh, we're losing this a wee bit here, but I'll try, I'll try and bring it back to you. There we are, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna about, about to go through the paper because it's scrap paper. Uh, the, the more water you put on, really you ought to be using card, but I mean, we don't all have card just now. You could use card that comes with foodstuffs. Just don't let folk throw that out. So, yeah, it's okay. A bit of tomato ketchup in there, a bit of soy sauce. So my top tip, my top one is definitely the tea and coffee. I had to use a bit of coffee to it. If you want this to start looking old, scrunch it up. But, um, yeah, so that's what we've ended up with. Scribbly. A scribbly satsuma with these things. Personally... Tea bag wins with coffee. Bye folks. Cheerio. Give it a shot. Give it a shot.